I want to show you how to build something like this, an interactive vertical tab element where the content on page gets updated when you select an option from the left-hand menu. To do this, we're going to be using Thrive Architect and a free but very powerful tool called Advanced Custom Fields. All right, let's jump into it. This video is just one of hundreds of tutorials that we have on our YouTube channel on how to build really cool things on WordPress. So if you want to become a professional developer, be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, let me just give you a big picture overview of how we're going to build an interactive vertical tab element. I want you to imagine that you want to start your very own Rotten Tomatoes blog. Although what I'm going to be showing you works for pretty much anything you can think of. You can use the following to create real estate listings, Kelly Blue Book filters, and much more. In order for us to build a tab element about anything that we want, we need to be using a plugin called ACF, which is short for Advanced Custom Fields. Now, this plugin is used for a lot of different things, but we're gonna be using it to create a new type of blog post called Movies. The reason why we wanna create a new type of blog post and not use the WordPress default blog post that WordPress typically comes with is because we wanna give these blog posts very specific properties that regular blog posts don't come with. For example, we're gonna have our blog posts of type movies have a movie snippet, a star review, and we're gonna stop there, but you could have them have a section about where they are currently streaming, the number of times that you've seen the movie, and so forth and so on. So let's just go ahead and do this. Great, so as you can see, I already have a new type of blog post on my website, it's called movies, and this is exactly what I'm about to show you how to create. First things first that, you, that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come into plugins, add a new plugin, and you're gonna look for advanced custom fields. All right, so just search advanced custom fields. And this is the one that you're gonna wanna install on your website. It's a free plugin and it's so powerful. You can do so many really cool things with it. Uh, but yeah, just get it installed and then you're going to want to um, fire it up once it's up and running on your website. You're gonna jump into uh, post types. And here you can see how I already have my custom post type created. It's called movies, but let's just power through it once more. Uh, let's create a new one. We're gonna call this movies take two. Singular label, you can just call it movie. Uh, actually, this should be on your end, it should be movies. Post type key, movie, taxonomies. Uh, we're gonna jump into taxonomies in a second and uh, hit this advanced configuration option here and make sure that you've got custom fields enabled as well, okay? Uh, so you're gonna have title, editor, featured image, custom fields, and uh, the other ones can stay as they are and you can just hit save changes here. And once you've hit save, you will notice how you've got a new type of custom post pinned on your WordPress toolbar. All right, now that you have created a new type of blog post, we need to create a new type of taxonomy. The easiest way for you to think about taxonomies is to think of them as WordPress categories. They're just a way for you to organize your posts, in this case, movies, into different categories. For example, I've created a new type of category called genre, which is what we're going to be using to categorize all of our movies. And this is what people are also going to be using on the front end of our site to filter through all of our movies. So let's just do that really quick. Let's create a new type of taxonomy called genre so that we can then categorize our movies into the appropriate genre. Okay, so once again, we're inside ACF. Uh, we've got our own custom post type called Movies Created, and now we need to jump into taxonomies. You're gonna see that I already have my own taxonomy created called Genre. Um, you're gonna go ahead and create a new one. And just for the sake of keeping things simple, you're gonna create one called Genres as well. So plural, go ahead and type in Genres, Genre, Taxonomy Key, Genre, Post Type. Here, you're gonna wanna uh, select Movie as the type of uh, custom post that's going to be able to use this specific taxonomy. And for taxonomies, you don't even need to toggle advanced configuration, uh, you can just hit save. Okay, now before we create new blog posts of type movies, we need to create those specific properties that I was talking about earlier. These are called custom fields, and we wanna create one for movie snippet and one for star rating. Let's do this. Great, so we have our custom post type created called movies. We've got our taxonomy, which is the category that we're gonna be using to filter our movies. In this case, it's gonna be a category called genre. Now we need to get to the probably the most important part, which is creating our custom uh, fields. So we're gonna jump into field groups. 
And here you're going to want to create a new type of field group. Now groups organize different custom fields together. In my case, I have one custom field group called movie data. And inside this custom field group, I've got two different properties. Let me just show this to you. Uh, actually, let's create it from scratch. That way you can see it. Uh, you can follow along and create it yourself. So let's create a new type of field group. All right, and we're going to call this field group movie data. And we are going to have one custom field uh, called text area. And this text area is going to be labeled um, movie snippet or movie description or movie metadata or something like that. Um, you can just copy that and uh, default value. You can just leave that blank or type in movie snippet or something. And then important here where you here, you need to tell uh, ACF, where do you want this field to show up? So you only want this field to show up when the post type is equal to movie. Um, if you want it to have this custom field show up on all of your regular blog posts, you could select uh, or add a new rule groups uh, so that post type is equal to a page or post as well. In this case, we're only interested in uh, blog posts of type movie. All right, and we are going to want one more field. In this case, it's going to be a regular text element, and this is going to be called um, movie rating. Field name can just be movie rating, that's fine. And here, we're going to do something fun. We're going to use emojis. Um, so on Mac, if you press on the global or FN uh, key, it's the one in the bottom left corner, and the uh, letter E, the uh, E key, uh, that's going to show up your emojis and you can just select the star rating one. And the default value is going to be a three star rating for our movies. All right, we can just hit save now. Okay, now we can jump into our movies and create some movies. These are just regular blog posts that you can customize with Thrive Architect just as you would customize any other WordPress blog post. I've already created most of them, but if I go inside each of them, you can see how they all have a movie snippet that I can fill out as well as a star rating. And you know, they all come with a with a movie title, a featured image, and of course I can organize them into their appropriate genre. Great, so as you can see, I've got a page uh, opened up here with Thrive Architect. It's one of our templates that comes with our expert theme for Thrive Theme Builder. And I've got a section here where I've inserted in a left-hand column a post list filter, and in the right-hand column I've got a post list. And this is what the actual behavior looks like. Um, if I click on adventure, only movies uh, categor categorized as adventure will show up. And so you get this feeling of having a vertical tab element, right? Where you can just click on one of these things, you know, kids and family, and only a uh, blog post of type movie that are ca categorized as kids and family will show up. Um, now, I haven't actually taken the time to make sure that these are properly labeled uh, because, you know, Lord of the Rings, probably not kids and family, Hunger Games, definitely not. But you get the gist of it. So let me just show you how you can do this with Thrive Architect. All right, so this is exactly what we're going after, right? We are going to insert a two column layout underneath uh, my existing columns. I'm gonna have one third of these two column layouts be our post list filter. Let me look for post list filter. And let me just make the typography for this black so that you can actually read the text. Great. And important, in order for this to be a vertical tab element, we need these uh, filters to be um, vertical, not horizontal. So let's go, um, let's come into our post list filter and let's make sure that we set the display to be vertical. Great, so we got a vertical menu here that we can use. Now we do need to make sure that we change our filters, right? These filters don't match the ones that we're going after but we're gonna to get to that in a second. First, let's actually insert a post list in our right-hand column. And I'm just gonna pick a very simple one. Probably, I think this is the one that I picked earlier. Perfect. And now what I wanna make sure is that I'm pulling in the right filters and the right blog posts. So let's go ahead and do that. So for my post list, I wanna make sure that I'm filtering blog posts in the right way. So content to display, you would think it's posts, but no, what we actually want to display is movies, which is a different type of blog post than that of regular WordPress blog posts. So let's make sure that we have movies enabled. Let's hit save. And you know, one more reason why you want to make sure that you pick movies is because I have more blog posts on this website other than 
movies. Um, I don't want an article from the New York Times about politics to show up as, you know, in this particular section, which is only exclusively about movies. Now let's fix our filtering as well. Uh, here, let's pick our post list filter. Let's change filter option from category. We want to make sure that we're using genres. Great. And now let's get rid of all of these options. This is probably going to update itself. Great. So it's selecting, selecting adventure, biopic, kids and family, and we can probably pull in some more. I think I've got superhero in there. Yeah, superhero. And we have an option here to select all, which is great. Cool stuff. I think this is already looking like pretty much, yeah, pretty much what I have above here. Great. So now we just need to customize the way this looks like, right? We need to make sure that we get our star rating in there as well as our uh, short movie snippet that we've created as our custom fields. So let's do that. Uh, first things first, let me adjust the widths. Uh, yeah, this has a max width of 300 pixels, which I'm not happy with. Let's just set this to auto. Awesome. And our content box, which is um, which holds our image, our featured image as a background image, let's make sure that we change the layout and position for that as well. So I know that these images are exactly 800 pixels wide by 1200 pixels in height. How do I know this? Well, I've taken the time to insert all these movie posters inside Pixelmator. You can do the same thing um, inside Photoshop or something like that, and just make sure that all of your images follow the same proportions. So given that I know that all of my images are exactly the same proportions, I can just come into my content box, select the content box that actually holds the image, my background image, and give it a max, a fix, uh, a fix, uh, width and a fixed height. So I know it's 800 by 1200 pixels. Now that is way too big. So now I just need to do a little bit of math, right? I know that these images are exactly 800 by 1200 pixels, but I'm running out of space. I don't actually have 800 pixels of width that I can afford to use in two different columns. So I'm just going to scale down uh, by 50%. Okay. So if I know that it's 800 pixels, I'm just going to bring this down by 50% down to 400 pixels. And I'm going to do the same thing for my height to make sure that I respect those same proportions. So 50% of 1200 is 600. And I can still see that that is still too big. So I'm going to scale that down by fifth by another 50%. So let's do 200 by 300. And that is starting to look a whole lot better, right? Now I can actually see the full image. Perfect. The one thing that I do want to do as well is come into my background style and make sure that I'm running these images. Yeah, the image size is set to thumbnail, which is why these are coming out as being a little bit blurry. Let's actually make them large. Great. Now they're coming out nice and crisp. Perfect. And now let's come into our actual post list. And let's edit the design. So first things first, what's really cool is that Thrive Architect is already pulling in the title of our movie, even though it's a new type of custom post that it doesn't come with WordPress natively. It already detects that this type of blog post has a title, right? Which in this case, it's our movie title. I'm just going to go ahead and make this text element be maybe like an H1. Yeah, that's better. And I do want a little bit of space between my H1 and my uh, movie poster. So let's make this perhaps like 12 pixels. Let's center the image. Let's center the text. And let's add a new type of text element. Let's drag and drop it underneath our main uh, title. Let's center it again. And watch what's going to happen now. I'm going to come into my dynamic options. And I'm going to tell Thrive Architect that the source for this text element should come from advanced custom fields. And I want my the field to, to get displayed here in this particular text element to be my movie snippet. I'm going to hit insert and boom, you can already see how it's pulling in each different movie snippet assigned to each different movie. Justice League, a great tutorial on how not to make a superhero movie. Paddington, one of the most magical movies ever created. Napoleon, great battle scenes, terrible movie, and so forth and so on. You can see how these are all completely different from one another. And not just that, let's do one more. I'm actually just going to duplicate this text element. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come into my dynamic sources and I'm going to change the movie snippet source to be star rating. And boom, you can see how it's pulling in 
each different star rating for each different movie, um, according according to whatever star rating we've given the the movie in the back end of of the blog post. So this is pretty cool stuff. Let's hit done and see what this looks like on the front end. Great. So as you can see, I've got my list of movies here. All are selected, and if I were to uncheck all and only check superhero movies nothing happens, which means that we've gone wrong somewhere. Let's go back and see what happened. Um, it probably has something to do with our filtering options. Um, so let's go ahead and click on filter posts, allowed front end filters. Oh, I forgot to add in genre here. We need to be, make sure that we enable genre uh, to be a front end filter. Otherwise our filtering options uh, aren't gonna work. Let's hit save and let's try that again. Okay, let me scroll down to the very bottom where my vertical tab element is. Okay, here it is. And if I click on only adventure movies. Great, only adventure movies show up. And I can see that my custom fields are being displayed properly, as well as my star rating. And if I uncheck adventure and check uh, superhero movies, only superhero movies show up. And if I do superhero and uh, kids and family, great, we've got superhero and the amazing Paddington movie getting displayed. This is awesome. Works just as expected. Perfect, if you've made it this far, congratulations, you're essentially done. I don't think it's too complicated. There are a few things here and there that you need to do with advanced custom fields, but in all honesty, I think this is great practice to get started with ACF. It's an incredible, powerful tool that you can use to build awesome things, especially when you combine it and use it alongside Thrive Architect and our post list element. There's a link down in the description box below that you can click on if you want to learn more about all of the really cool things that you can build with Thrive Architect. Oh, and I have a video in the works where I show off how we build our apps portal for Thrive Automator. This will be a great video for anyone looking to learn how to build directory styled homepages. So be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in watching that. Uh, truly appreciate your time as usual, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.